welcome to the book of Enoch. Well, we're going through the book of Enoch verse by verse because the book of Enoch is by far the best example of what it'll be like in the days of Noah uh, because Enoch was there. Uh, more so, Jude instructs us to understand what it'll be like in the days of Noah in the end times is just look at the prophecy of Enoch. Uh, those are those who will be dwelling among us. It's the same idea, uh, the Nephilim. So uh, as we kind of look at this book, what we've seen is God is divvying up punishment to the watchers and to the Nephilim. And then Enoch is then taken up uh, by several angels and he's taken to what seems to be God's workshop. It's ultimately his throne on a mountain uh, where there's, he's surrounded by angels and it's a place where he has created the luminaries um, the lightnings, the thunderings. He has his uh, fiery bow and arrow and sword, which divvies out punishment. And it's also what we learned last time is when the luminaries are decreated, when they're destroyed, this is where it happens as well. So uh, we're just going to pick it up right there. We're going to go all the way back to one, uh, but we're going to be focusing on, he also sees a, a river of fire. And we're going to focus on that river of fire this time. So uh, 17 verse one. And they took and brought me to a place in which those who were there were like a flaming fire. And when they wished, they appeared as men. They brought me to the place of darkness and to a mountain, the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw the places of the luminaries and the treasuries of the stars and the thunder and the uttermost depths, where were a fiery bow and arrows and their quiver and a fiery sword and all the lightnings. And they took me to the living waters, to the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a river of fire in which the fire flows like water and discharges itself into the great sea towards the west. All right, I'm gonna pause there um, because it's really important that we focus uh, for a little bit on this uh, fiery river. Uh, what is this fiery river? Well, um, Daniel saw this fiery river as well. Um, when he sees the vision of the ancient days, uh, we're gonna jump to that spot. And uh, so we're gonna go to Daniel 7, starting verse nine. I watched till thrones were put in place and the ancient of days was seated. His garment was white as snow and the hair of his beard was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. A thousand thousands ministered to him. 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. The court was seated. The books were opened. All right, now this moment in time that Daniel is seeing is he's seeing the judgment day. He's ultimately seeing judgment day. And this fiery river clearly has something to do with that. Um, it is based on a judgment of some sort, because if we look at that moment in time, like what we will be seeing um, in that same moment, you know, kind of a little more detail as we go to Revelation 20, uh, we're going to go to four. And I saw thrones and they sat on them and judgment was committed to them. So there's the thrones that were established. And I saw the souls of those who've been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God who had not worshiped the beast or his image and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years but the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection just a side note you want to be here during tribulation if you are here and you live through it uh, you're going to never die. You're going to reign with Christ for a thousand years. But if you're beheaded for Christ's sake, you actually will still be resurrected and you'll live with Christ for a thousand years. Those are the only two people going to be with him for a thousand years. That's the first judgment. Uh, but the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. And then we'll go to where the thousand years are finished. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, whose face the earth and heaven fled away and were found no place for them. So here what we're seeing is heaven and earth, once we get to this place that Daniel saw, heaven and earth will fade away. So what we're seeing is we're seeing the creation that was there from the beginning, God's workshop essentially, and what we're seeing now. Like this is something to do with judgment because if we look at what everything Enoch saw so far, 
the bows and the arrows and the sword were for cutting down the unrighteous that you know killing them essentially on the earth whereas and this is more about the judgment you know final judgment not just some judgments going to take place on that moment and I saw the dead, small and great, saying before God, and books were open, and another book was open, which was the book of life, and the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and the death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were each judged, each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Um, so here what you have is you have a river of fire proceeding from the throne of God and it discharges itself in the West, which is the place of the luminaries. And if we, you know, we, where they are destroyed and, you know, and oftentimes we see angels referred to as stars and, um, it, it's a very, you know, I can't even begin to scratch the surface on what this river of fire is. I'm just gonna like I'm, I'm not gonna pretend <laughs> I could just oh and it does this and it does that like I don't know what I do know is it proceeds from the throne more specifically it proceeds from the judgment seat what Enoch is seeing is it's proceeding from his throne what Daniel saw is it's proceeding from his judgment seat which is the same thing because in Revelation heaven and earth have been decreated at that point so they're in a river of fire on the earth you know that's all been decreated <laughs> like this is this river of fire this one that proceeded from the throne of god uh, we will be literally standing at the throne of god which will be ultimately a judgment seat um, pretty fascinating stuff but um, this river of fire proceeds from there and ultimately pours into uh, the great sea the river or that fire that consumes the luminaries and probably ultimately the lake of fire is, is how it is fed so uh, any thoughts or insight on any of this definitely put it below i do want to take a moment and say most people watch this channel they're not subscribers click that subscribe button it greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out that link is also below but the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests and never hesitate to send that in thank you for watching this episode of god family and guns and as always love god love your family love guns